Hi, this is Lois. My name is Trendy Lois. And what a blessing be for your presence again. We give God all, all, all the glory and give him all the praise. I'm here to tell you about him. You should know who he is. Christmas is all about Jesus and what he did for us. We he what what a price for us. Christmas is about shopping, yes. But what better, better gift you can give yourself to write Christ come live in you. He's waiting for you. That's why God had not sent his son. He sent his son and said, be patient, my son. Some will come and some will not. We're all on borrowed time. And we're here because God chooses to give us more time through his son. He said, look at the stars above at night and fall upon us. The bright lights is all about Christ, almighty God. Even the candles are light for the glory of God. We love Jesus. We must recognize there's only one God and one Jesus. The Son gave his only be Son to come us to know him who he is. We seen the shop and shop and shop and we tie it and we break it down. But God said, rise up in my son. Call Jesus. Give him a gift that he want you to buy him to live in him. What better gift you can give to Christ? Say, I love you. I want you to live in me and change me. Make me over, be all I want me to be to your son, oh God. I can't do this alone, Father God. But Christmas is all about Jesus. Sweet Holy One, sweet man, do well. We give you all the praise and give you the glory, my God. Where we be out the day, then God didn't give us son much time for us to wait to receive him. He says, yes, some will come, some will not. And some will hear my voice and some choose living in the world without him. But he said, live with my son. Make him number one in life, and he will make everything work through him. Because we can't do it on our own. We have to do it with God on our side. The devil is pushing our buttons when we pray, because he doesn't want us to pray and know God. We must know God, that son that lives in us, and he fills with his presence overflow. Your happiness comes through the Holy Spirit. His love comes through the Holy Spirit. Our mind, our wisdom, our eyes, and our heart is beating through Holy God that loves us. He said, remember me, Christmas. Every day, my birthday is Christmas. Celebrate my son, Jesus, Holy One, sweet Manuel. Fill us with your joy and your peace, O God, I pray. Holy Father, forgive us for our sins. Help us to know that you will in our spirit and our soul. He's there inside of you. All you gotta say, I come and live inside of me. I put you off long enough. It's time to come and celebrate Jesus. Not just to drink and eat and do everything that you wanna do. Think of Jesus for once. This is a family, it's Christ and the Holy God. And ce celebrating Christ with Jesus. Isn't that celebrating his family? Before you eat, you give thanks. We give thanks for all things in Jesus' name. His eyes up on us every day, but we don't care what he see. He's not happy what he sees, but we still do it our way. Isn't it time to say, Lord, we're going to do it your way in Jesus' name? Surrender all to you, holy God, I pray. I need your cup overflowing me every day. I'm truly lost without you, God. And when you feel lonely, you say, Jesus, I can go out and take a little walk and think of God and think of Christ and his love that overflow in you because he loves you. His son is there because of you. He's the one that makes things happen and we can't do anything. So Holy Father, we thank you for God. We thank you for Jesus. We must learn to say, Jesus, live inside of us, change us, make us over, be all that you want to be. This world is in trouble today because we don't pray enough. We're still doing things our way. And before you know it, the Christ Thanksgiving is gone. And we should give Thanksgiving a time to set in us. Now it's Christmas. And Christmas is waiting for Jesus' birthday to get over. And then there's New Year's to come in to drink and party. We all umbra our time because Jesus went to the cross for us. And we owe him so much. We're dedicated to him, but we don't think we are. We live in this world without God long enough. It's the time to say, God, I surrender all to you. I need you right now, every moment, every hour, holy God. 
Oh, God, help us to have peace in our spirit and our soul. With nobody around you, with no family, and your loved ones are all gone, you can thank of Jesus. Say, Jesus, even for the young, young and for the elders, say, Jesus, I surrender all. My smile, I'm beating. I'm, I'm breathing, walking, talking to you. My heart is beating because of you. You're my joy. You're my peace. You're my everything, oh God. Even your children are all grown and gone. And you're in the house there alone, but you're not alone. Remember, Jesus is there. God is there. When you're resting, lay your head down. You say a sweet prayer and say, Jesus, let me have a sweet sleep in Jesus' holy name. And then you wake up full of his joy and his peace and for his anointing. Oh, God, why can't we see things different through your eyes today, holy God? We're all in a rush doing things our way. He said, don't worry about nothing, which I used to worry. And I say, you know what, you worry? Nothing would happen. Trust in him and he'll make things happen. We can't do anything without God. He can move the mountain through us. He can do anything we ask to holy God because God truly loves us. He loves you and loves me and loves your family because we're all his children. You know, once they got in higher places, remember my father and your son. You pray to God in Jesus' holy name. He says, I will answer prayers and without him, we have nothing. So Holy God, forgive us, Jesus. Help us to love you more, appreciate you more, and say, Lord, we need thee. Stand on a solid rock and say, Lord, you see my tears, and your tears will fall in his hands with all his love that will flow into you every day. And when you feel empty, you say, Holy Spirit, fill me where I need to be filling by your word. Touch me deep down in my spirit and my soul. Bless my mind, bless my ears, bless my thoughts, bless my tongue, oh God. Because sometimes we say things that hurt our families. But we say, Holy Spirit, bless our tongue. He'll give you wisdom what to say. And the enemy will come through our prayers because he does want us to pray. We've got to pray for the government, pray for the ones that don't want to know Jesus, don't want to know God, because they think Christmas is all about them. He said, I give you all, what are you going to do for me? What are you going to do for Christ, his son, that he went to the cross for us? He says, here I am again. I'm no longer on the cross. I'm sitting there by my daddy. And my daddy told me, not yet, my son. Be patiently. Your time will come. We must look for his coming because it is coming very soon. He said, you pray and magnify my son's name, sweet Manuel, sweet Holy One. He sees all that we see. Even the prison, the ones that are coming to Jesus, they know there's a God. There's only one God that loves us so much. You know what my song is? I set my eyes on you, and you look through me through your son. Because Christmas is all about you. And I'm going to praise his holy name. So I can let you praise him. And not to ask for nothing to say thank you. One day he'd like to say I thank you. I thank you, holy one. He give you voice to sing. So rejoice in his holy name. Say, I surrender all to you, and we're here because of you. Where will we be without you, Jesus? We will be lost without you. Fill us with your joy and your peace. And the one that don't think it's no God, because the God opens arms out to rest to you. Say, here I am, reach out to him. Go, what better gift you can give yourself? Wrap yourself up in a pretty bow and say, Jesus, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry I waited so long. Forgive me for my sins. Come and live inside of me, make me over, and be all you want me to be. All you say, Jesus, give, I give myself to you. The right you live in Christ, and Christ will come and rest at you. We're all in stuff and everything else, but not God. We need Jesus. He's celebrating every day his son. 
and the angels rejoice and all around him and worship him and praise him and say, Lord, we thank you, sweet man, you're well. Oh, Mary, we thank you for Jesus. Immediately to have Jesus, where would be today? Oh, holy God, we need thee, holy God, I pray. Because you see everything we do every day. People are killing, shooting each other, and doing things that God does not like. But God is a patient God, and he made his son Jesus patient. So we got to be thankful for this new Christmas about, because Jesus said the time is ticking, and it could be Christmas Day he sent his son. We don't know, because we're all on borrowed time. We have to remain long, wake up every day and say, Lord, we can't be in a rush. We must come to pray and give you all the praise and make you first in our life. We make you first, everything will fall in place. And without him, nothing will fall in place. We say, Lord, we need thee every hour, every minute, every day. People out there doing things they should not do. But God is a patient God, and so is son. His son is grown up now. But he's sitting with his daddy. And 2,000 years ago, he was a baby. Did he know his destiny was for us? Did he know that his daddy one day tell him he'd get a certain age, that he would go to the cross? But everything he do was in love for us, the beatings, the bruising, everything he did for us. And the bright lights and the trees, people are doing things what they want to the trees. Jesus said, Remember the bright lights. Remember everything that you lit. It's a light to the Holy Spirit, that you're not in the darkness, you're into the marvelous light. Come to the light and know that God loves you, and his son loves you, and he wants you to receive his son with love and peace and happiness, and say, Lord, I'm so tired. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm tired of hurting, I'm tired of crying. He said, let go of my son, my daughter, I'm here. You're never alone. Search his heart, search him, and say, Lord, I surrender all. We must pray for each other and learn to say, Lord, we need a new word from you every day. To put a smile on somebody's face and say, God, I surrender all. Teach me what you want me to know, what I do not know. Teach him how to pray, Holy Spirit. As you teach me how to pray, I'm still learning, oh God, because I don't have the answers you do, Holy Spirit. Oh, sweet man, dear well, we loved you. We adore you. We magnify your name, sweet Jesus. Jesus, forgive us, Jesus. We can do everything else but celebrate your son. You said, you know what? Light a little candle and make me I get a little cake or something and put a candle inside it and lit it up and say, you know what? This candle and this little cake is about Jesus' birthday. Jesus' birthday full of lights all around. It doesn't have to be a tree. It can be bright lights and candles, whatever you choose, as long as you give Jesus respect because we honor his God and his son in respect and we don't give him praise and give him glory. Where would we be today without God? We'd be truly lost. Jesus said, I'm the healer in you. Trust in me in all things. I'm the one that make you over because every day, our body goes through changes, and through changes to Holy God, he makes changes in us through our son. Oh, Father, we thank you, sweet man, you're well. We praise his holy name, and everything we give thanks in the name of Jesus, that we surrender all ourselves to you. Oh, God, we thank you for the bright lights and for the stars above, and we thank you for the manger of Jesus, that God is sitting by, his son is sitting by him. Oh, Holy Father, forgive us, oh God. Help us to love you more. Help us to worship you and praise his holy name. All I can teach you is say, Jesus, I need thee. Christmas is about Jesus. The red, all the different colors, the gold and green, all those beautiful colors and blues and greens. It's all about Jesus' colors. He said the red rose is about God. The white rose is about purity. And sin is a, red, it's a, it's a black flower of sin. He said, move away from sin. Come to the marvelous light. Choose my son. He says, I will give you flavors. I give you oils to wear. 
and the holy oil will bless your body, will make you overflow through my son. So how are you going to get there? It's by praying and say, Jesus, I want to know you as you know me. Because God's son knows us from the inside and out. God's son knows it all, Jesus. You know, we're thinking before we even know. We speak the words in his presence and say, Lord, this is your voice. We must sit down, look around your house, say, I'm truly thanking you. I'm truly blessed. We're all blessed to wake up every day to see things different as we age. I don't like saying, oh, I like saying you're aging in God's grace and his love that will flow you with his love because his love is about God and the blood of Jesus that flows on us every day. He said, remember me, give praise and give praise. Holy one, we thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. Sweet man, you are. That's one and then today. That need a test from you wherever they at. In the house wherever they at, holy God. Breathe on them, Holy Spirit. Let them know that your presence is there. I lift my hands to worship you. I wish my hands to praise you. To say, Lord, we need you every hour, every minute today. The time is getting short, and time is very near. Help us be thankful that all what you have done in Jesus' name. Here I call out to you, oh Lord, I pray. Because somebody up there don't believe it's a God, and it's a Jesus, yes it is. Because he cannot be about us anymore, because he lives in us. So why cannot you be thankful that all his son done? So Jesus, we love you. We magnify his name. Fill us with your love and your peace. Holy one, I pray. What we can't do, you can do in us. Forgive us, holy one. And count your blessings one by one. And say, I love you more. Forgive us for our sins. Let the ones know that it's time to come to you and make a new life with you and say, God Almighty, forgive me for my sins. I want to be part of your family. I want to be a new creature in you, holy God. Oh, sweet Manuel, well, sweet Jesus, help us be thankful for all things that we ask in Son's name because he is about love. He's waiting every day for us to come to buy and live in us every day. Oh God, forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, Jesus, that we use your name in vain. We're looking for gifts and everything else, but not looking for the gift in Christ that lives in us. You know what? We can wear everything in this world, but we need Jesus. His birthday is Christmas. Every day it should be Christmas in our heart. Every day we say, Lord, we need thee. We can't survive without you. When you feel that you're alone, you're never alone. Because sometimes I feel you're not there. But you know what? You're on a journey with God and his son. And you wait and watch and see how his presence will flow on you. You hold his hands up high and say, Lord, I surrender all to you, holy God. Forgive us for our sins, O oh God. We're all about stuff and everything else, but not about you. You see everything we do through your Son, Holy Spirit eyes, and you don't like what you see, God. Oh, Jesus, sweet man, do well. Forgive us for our sins. I'm a lady that walked the streets, his daughter, and you can walk the streets too if you tell you to do. We all have assignments to do. But we want to do what this world that wants to do, not to tell somebody about God, not to tell somebody about his son. We need to tell somebody about Jesus, how he loves us, and what he done for us. And Calvary, all I can say, pray. And Father, we thank you. Amen, amen, hallelujah. We thank you for this awesome Christmas day that's coming up right around the corner. 
which has not set in me yet, but it's coming in me because I'm still giving thanks for Thanksgiving. But I look at the bright lights and the night fall and the stars above like the manger when Jesus was in that little place. And he says, what this beautiful baby boy is going to do in the manger. He didn't know what he was going to do. A pretty handsome baby boy. He didn't know what his destiny was for us. But he had to wait until daddy told him at a certain age what his calling going to be. It was a teaching about his father and a teaching about Jesus. He'd been obedient in love from day one. He never turned his back on us, but we turned our back on him. We owe God so much, and we owe Jesus so much. We must think about what his son did and Christmas and celebrate Jesus' family, and we all his family. We all belong to him. We all belong to him, and so do you, and so do I. He made us all different colors because we are his children. Yes, eyes are blue, some are brown. God made us all different in his son's sight. But inside of us, he breathes in us every day. You know what? When you feel a stress, what do you learn? Breathe three times in Jesus' Son and the Holy Spirit. You breathe in and out. And you breathe in again. You release in the Holy Spirit in you to feel his love. And you leave again for your anointing to the Holy God. <sighs> in Jesus' holy name, that means you breathe it in and out to feel his love and his joy and his peace. And say, whisper in my ears, oh God, I pray, I will do all that you want me to do. Tell me what you want me to do, Jesus, and I'll be obedient to you. Because this mind, these ears, to hear your voice, oh Lord, I pray in Jesus' holy name. Oh, sweet Jesus, we love you and we adore you. Forgive us, Jesus. We're all about stuff and not about you. We're all about family, which we are all supposed to be. But we make God, his son, and our family to join and say, Lord, we thank you. Around the table, we give him thanks to in Jesus' holy name. Oh, God, help us know that you're always there. We feel that there's no one there, because sometimes I feel that too. I feel like Jesus out there in the wilderness, but he wasn't alone. God was watching over his son every day, and all the journeys he went through when the enemy attacked him, he must flee in the name of Jesus. God made his son strong. And you can be strong in a walk with God. Don't be ashamed to talk about Jesus. Jesus want you to talk about his son to somebody else. And so that I need to give him a track, whatever. Give him, give him a hug. And listen to the spirit that talked to you inside. You say, I go to work every day. I'm stretched out. You say, no, God, go to work with me. Go to church with me. Tell me what to do. I go to hours every day. I'm tired doing this, holy God. I'm tired of living this way, and some do take their life. But God say, you don't take your life. You'll get through this because whatever you're going through, Jesus is with you. And your pain, your suffering, he's with you. When you feel that you can't do it, call on Jesus because he loves you. He gave his only begotten son in love, his only son. That love was so much. Sweet man, do well. Here I cry out to you, O oh God. Let your people know there's a God and there's a Jesus. Test their spirit, test their spirit and their mind. Oh, Lord, I pray. Let them know, God, that we need you every minute, every hour of the day. Even fall on your knees if you have to. Whatever you need, God does hear your cry out. Trust in him for everything and everything. And celebrate Christmas and say, Jesus, I will ask nothing for you for Christmas. To say in love, I thank you. I can join the bright lights in the trees and, and go to worship and praise and see Jesus a baby. But he's not there anymore, is he? He's sitting by the right hand of his father. He's a grown man. But did you know I was a baby boy in that manger? And he was a handsome little boy, a baby full of joy and laughter with a smile up on his face. 
And Mary looked down at her baby, but she did not know her destiny was his son to die for us. Yes, he did. Was Mary was sad. When God told him his son has a calling, but she said, I will wait, make me strong to go on his journey with him. Cause all through her suffering she went through. He said, my son, my God gave me to his son. Do you know his name? His name is Jesus. Some sweet Manuel, holy God, we need thee. And as I walk the street every day, even though it's cold, you know what? You don't think about the cold because you're doing a mission for God. That Jesus said, my time is coming very soon. Look for me. I'm coming very soon. And he is. He can come Christmas. He can come New Year's. He can come any time you want to come. And you don't make time to pray. The enemy say he have you already. Don't the enemy take a hold of you. Tell the enemy, I'm going to worship and pray. If you don't have the words to say, to say, Daddy, I love you. I need you. My strength is from you. I, everything I ask to you is through you that you give me, to feed me, make me over, trans change me. I ain't belong to you, Holy God, because I'm in a journey now. But I know we all coming through a journey with a Holy God that loves us. And they just has put my hands out to you, Holy God. Receive my prayers in Jesus' holy name. Bless this world, O oh God, I pray in Jesus' name. To think of Jesus, what he did for us. What he did for us in Calvary. Everything is in love in Jesus' holy name. He says, don't do something that God see does not like. But we do killing, shooting, shooting up drugs. God does not like because all that stuff is in his body. God's son gave you a holy body and a holy spirit to be well deep down in his spirit, in his womb. He don't want you to do that. You can't escape from anything else. When you're doing that, it's only a little escape. And to go back for more, you know what? Get a new antidote. Call out to Jesus and say, Jesus, help me. I want to be strong. Do you, you can move the drinking away. You can take the smoking away. You can move anything I ask if you really want a change to the Holy Spirit. You have to want it. And you say, Lord, I need help, Holy God. Live in your children. Live in the ones that don't know you. There is no, that is a God that loves you. His eyes up for you in every day. And it comes a watch over you at night, God does. And the sun that breathes in us that wake us up every day in the right mind. But we so we can shop and do everything else, but not think of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Holy One, forgive us for our sins. Oh, God, I pray. Let your cup overflow with us every day. And we thank you again for another Christmas. And we thank you, Jesus, for another new year is right around the corner. How soon we forget Thanksgiving was already and not set in. Now it's Thanksgiving, Christmas is on the way. Then it's New Year's on the way. And then we do then. What do we do then? Back to business as usual. We must learn to say, God, we thank you for Thanksgiving. We thank you for Christmas. We thank you for New Year. And when the clock ticking, you know what? It's all about Jesus because he can come any moment, any hour, and that last clock tick, right? So all I can do is tell you is to pray, to know God as I know him. And we know when, when you get closer to him in prayer, remember this, the enemy will come after you like a thief because he does not want you to pray. He find things for you to stop him going to church. If you're unsaved, take, come to Jesus and invite him to live in you. Because he's waiting for the ones to live in him. Because he says, you know what living means? A new life will start. A new journey will start with God and his son. And you have all the happiness and the peace that you need. If you need a soulmate, he will send it when it's time. If you're looking, say, Lord, you send me the right one. Not you look anymore. He will send the right one. Like this ministry, he called me to. 
I said, Lord, I don't want it. I'm here because you called me to do it. My ministry, God called me in the streets, which I love to preach and to sing. But here I am looking at you and you're looking at me to Christ because I see Christ in you as I minister to you now. Remember, God love us. We nation need prayer. The government need prayer. We can't be in a hurry rushing Christmas out and waiting for New Year to come in and back to doing things that we did before. We all and we have to say, Lord, we shop every year and every year. You know what? Stop shopping and say, you know what? Better gift we give, we think of God and think of his son. You don't need to shop all the time. You know what? Sometimes just a basket of fruit be good. Change the way you do things because every year we're doing the same thing over and over. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord.